This video describes how to use Accord Forms in QQ Catalyst. Start off by selecting a policy for your customer. Click on the Accord tab to see a list of all Accord Forms that currently apply to this policy. To add an Accord Form to this policy, click on New Form in the toolbar. A list appears of all the available Accord Forms. On the upper left corner of the Accord list, you will see a list of your agency's locations. Changing the location here will change the location information pre-filled on the selected form. To find the form you need, you can scroll through the list or use the search tool at the top. For instance, if you are looking for a specific liability form, you could type in the word liability and you will see all Accord forms that have the word liability in them. If you are searching for Accord 25, Certificate of Liability, you can type in 25 and then select the correct form. You can sort the forms by any column. To select an Accord form, click on the form you want and then click the Next button at the bottom. The chosen form will load pre-filled information from the policy and contact you selected. When the form has multiple pages, QQ Catalyst will show each page as a separate step in the guided workflow. Notice that the Accord Form 25, for instance, has a place for certificate holders. When the Accord Form has a place to insert certificate or lien holders, Click on the Manage Certificate Holders button just above the Accord form. Select as many certificate or lien holders as the form allows and then click Save. If the certificate or lien holder you want is not in the list, use the stack to save your place. Click on New Contact in the dock and add the certificate or lien holder and then go back to your stack and return to the Accord Form screen. If you clicked on multiple certificate or lien holders, use the Showing Certificate Holder arrows at the top to view each certificate holder on the form. To add a signature to your Accord Form, click on Import Change Signature. Based on the location you selected, the signatures set up by your agency administrator and location preferences will be available. Also, if you have set up any signatures under My Preferences, these will be available as well. Select one signature and click Save. That signature appears on the Accord form. To remove a signature, Click on the Remove Signature button and the signature disappears. To remove a certificate or lien holder from the Accord form, click on Manage Certificate Holders and uncheck those certificate holders you want to remove and select Save. At the bottom of the Accord form, you have the option to print, email, or save the form. If you just want to save the Accord form for now, click Save. This Accord form appears in the list of Accord forms for this customer and in the policy. In fact, whether you print, save, or email an Accord form, it will be saved to the Accord tab on the customer screen and for this selected policy. To print the form, click on the Print button. If the form includes certificate or lien holders, QQ Catalyst presents a screen where you can choose the certificate or lien holder for whom you want to print the Accord form. Printing in QQ Catalyst generates a PDF in a new browser tab. You can change the view size of the PDF, save it to your computer, or print it from here. Notice that when you have more than one certificate or lien holder, you can see more than one Accord form in the PDF. Next, go ahead and print as you would normally with your browser. To email an Accord form, click on the Email button at the bottom of the screen. Choose a template to use for your email and click Next. Use the Document Editor to customize your email using a variety of styles and fonts, 
You can even insert links to images. When you are finished editing, click Next. Enter a title for the email and add notes. Click Next. The Accord form you are emailing is already checked as an attachment. You can select additional attachments if necessary. Click Next and you are taken to the Email Header tab. The drop-down list in the From entry includes all the validated email addresses for the locations to which you have access. Next, enter the email addresses in the To field. You can enter multiple email addresses separated by a comma or semicolon. If necessary, enter additional email addresses for the CC and BCC. Finally, enter a subject line that will appear on the email. Once you have finished completing these fields, click the Next button to see a preview of the final email. The last step is to review the email before you send it and then click Finish. When you send the email, a copy is stored in the Files tab of the contact and the policy. Look in the Files tab and you will see the email that was sent. Note that once an email has been sent, you can click on that email in the Files tab and resend it. Here is what we've covered in this video about Accord Forms. Adding an Accord Form Finding the right Accord Form Populating Accord Forms with data Adding certificate and lien holders to an Accord Form Adding signatures to Accord Forms Saving, printing, and emailing Accord Forms